Hey guys, we're here in Washington, D.C., finishing up an absolute ridiculous week. And what I mean by that is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and, 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 the, and the President Biden, his administration, they're not addressing any issues that the American people are actually dealing with. In fact, they're just ignoring it. And the closest they got to actually addressing the issues, such as inflation or, or the border crisis or what's happened over in Europe or the high energy costs, the closest they got to it is you had John Kerry, who goes to the mic and says, the last thing we need to do is be drilling for oil. But then again, what do you expect when you put career politicians in charge? What has President Biden done? He's done nothing but lived off the taxpayer dollars and somehow has become a multimillionaire doing it for the last 40 plus years. You have John Kerry. What has he done other than marry a very wealthy wife and take his medals from Vietnam and throw them over a wall? What has the guy done? What puts him in charge of our climate? What puts him in charge of trying to tell us what to do with our energy? Guys, I don't even know what to think. It's, 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 it's mind-blowing to me to think that we're being led by an incompetent group of people that won't even address what's actually happening out there. We're not even discussing if we're going to go into a recession or not. Now they're trying to discuss if we're going to go into a recession in 2023 or 2024. You have, the, you have our interest rates being raised at record rates at this point. We are just on the verge of not having inflation, but hyperinflation. And it's literally crickets from the White House. They want to ignore the problem, but we can't because we're the ones paying for it. This is what we're fighting for. We're not just simply fighting uh, for, for Oklahoma. At this point, we're literally trying to fight for America. We have individuals that want to ignore what's happening because they have a socialist agenda, and we won't allow that to happen. Thank you for letting me be in this fight. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.